Hey everyone and welcome back to Abandoned Oz. I'm currently about to walk through Sydney's Hunter Connection, uh, which I have done a video on before. The Hunter Connection is closing and since my last video, um, a lot more shops have closed. Uh, there's barely anything open in this arcade. Uh, walking through this arcade is actually kind of kind of like walking back in time. Definitely looks like something from, from the 90s maybe. So every, everything is closed, pretty much. There's only a couple of shops open. Uh, here's a bit of information, I think. I just pause the video, have a bit of a read. And then uh, resume the video when you're done. And we'll just have a, a look here. I've done a video on this. I'm pretty sure, yes, yes that. Um, that's where Frankie's Pizza was located, among other things. Nail joint there. Uh, this place was open last time I did a video. Let's have a look at these signs. But yeah, if, if I uh, look at any of the signs and I move away a bit too quickly, just go back and then pause the video, have a bit of a read. Actually, one arcade that I never really walked through too much. Sign for Pitt Street. So the Hunter Connection connects uh, Wynyard Station with uh, George Street, Pitt Street, and Hunter Street. It's currently a little bit after six o'clock in the morning. I have to zoom out here. In my last video, a few of you had mentioned that this was actually a good, good place for a uh, bit of a cheap feed. George Street, I think. Just walk up the stairs and we'll go back down the escalator. No, that's not George. I should know that by now. <laughs> 31 years old, living in Sydney, and I still didn't know. Um, at the entrance here. All right, but we'll head back down. We'll definitely explore the other levels. Try and have a look at most of the shop fronts. So if you want to point anything out and make a comment on any of these places, definitely feel free to do so. I think uh, this salon is open. And then I'll walk up to a sign saying it's closed. Um, 
Okay, so they close on the 15th of January. Okay, cool. So they're still open. This place, which looks like it may have been a sushi bar and a little cafe here. I don't know. It's a pressery. We'll walk around here, have a look at these shops on the edge. Try and, and I'll try and be as thorough as I can. Dry cleaners. Gold Center jewelers are gone. Wine massage gone. Yes, they're gone. Well and truly. Oh, okay, so they moved three meters up. Acupuncturist. Okay, Wayne massage again. Okay, then, sorry, finger was in the way. Um, they've moved again. Rosabella Nails and Beauty. Looks like they've gone too. Uh, Sydney Barbers, they've moved. Uh, they closed on the 1st of October, 2022. Cafe Sophia. Spice Boys, Indian and Nepalese takeaway and caterers. Nice. All right, we'll head upstairs. Upstairs and go to the left. There's actually a couple of things I want to cover in here, and then I want to go back through and get a couple of photos, including a thumbnail shot for this video. Alright. Got another dry cleaners here. says that they're moving. Whatever this used to be, gone, moved. Siam Orchard, Thai massage, they gone. Does have a date? Eyebrow therapy joint. Looks uh, like they're pretty well packed up. Uh, okay, so nothing to do with that. So these guys are closed. Oh, yeah, 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 that's Sydney Barbers again. I've walked past them on the way, on the way here. Uh, there's an exit to George Street. Tobacconist. Um, looks like they've gone too. Soul Origin. Um, they've been gone for a while. Let's see. Gee, maybe I need to get glasses. Yeah. MC, MC Royal. Looks like they're, they're pretty well gone too. Uh, solicitors gone. Barbers on Hunter. This place was definitely not short of old barbers. That's, that's for sure. Lucy's alteration. Dry cleaning. Dry cleaners too. This place was definitely not short of, uh, of dry cleaners. And there's a laser clinic there. Um, that, that's the escalator I went down before and walk through the food court. So we're gonna head back this way. Actually, no way. 
We'll head upstairs. We'll head up this way. Not too sure what's up here. Could that? Could this be a part that I completely skipped in the last video? Maybe. Oh no, it's not. Sorry. Famous lunch. Pretty sure they might be gone. Alright, this is a, a food court. Another, another food court. Hunter Asian Gourmet. Next door is Lotus Kebabs. And it's 25 past 6. Thank you to that clock. 6th Avenue. Kind of reminds me of being in New York. If you want to go there, just walk up, walk across the 6th Avenue, you'll be okay. It's on your left. Sorry. <clears throat> Franks and Kuman. Pretty. Sorry, finger again. Continue walking along this way. Oh, actually, yeah. There's a few people around the corner there. Curries and more. Gone. It's a toilet. I suppose you don't need to see in the toilet. Just looks like a toilet. <laughs> no shit. All right, so we're heading back down here. All right, so this newer looking part goes out to Pitt Street. So there's more signage for the Hunter Station side there. What you'd have already read before. Uh, Lucy's alteration still open and going strong. There should be a couple of... There's another hair and nail place. Um, there might be a couple of places along here. Wayne massage again. Remember from before? Upstairs where they moved twice. Now that's cool. They're holding on strong. I'm not complaining. Uh, looks like Deja Vu at the end here is open. A couple of these places might be open um, in this little strip here um, and they'll obviously open throughout the day. So this place, what is it? Mario's Shoe Repair looks like that is also open as well, or will be open. Uh, Deja Vu, so looks like a cafe, you, know, you get your coffees, cakes, sandwiches, rolls, and things alike. And this is, um, this is Pitt Street. This is Pitt Street. I'm actually going to, oh, I could not look at mind. Alright, I'll zoom it in here now that I'm not getting too much of the shop prints and I'll just take you all with a walk for a walk with me down down the bottom I'll end up getting a, a photo or three or a hundred I know the quality is a bit um, a bit lesser it's uh, not as great when I do zoom out um, it's just how the iPhone is or a lot of cameras really uh, but it's better seeing everything in a wider angle. Be a bit better quality seeing it like this. Yeah, downstairs. Let's see if I can get some photos. Uh, yeah, this too. Right, so business, food court, fashion, retail, food and fashion. And lots of yes, how long is it? Done. 
was a joke. Oh, there's this too, if you want to... I don't know. Right. towards this Hunter Street uh, entrance here because I want to go back to that uh, food court. So I'll head back upstairs to this this food court up here. So I want to get a couple of photos. So to our left again, it's like days out of it. Not the cafe upstairs, downstairs. Was this famous lunch actually famous? Was it good? I don't know why, but I actually had never really visited here too much. It was a, I don't know why. Anyway, that's that's pretty much all for this for this video, I, I think. I think I was pretty thorough. The only thing I didn't really look look through or under were the tiles, but I think that it probably would probably be upon if I started looking at that. Yes, it's hands up. Right. That's what I was looking for. Alright, I'm facing around for a second. Okay, cool. Um, a hunted house. Cafe. That's well and truly closed. But it's been closed for a little bit. really but just really enough. Anyway that's 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 all. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite the video, all that good stuff and um, thank you for your support um, in helping me explore um, Sydney and Australia's abandonments and history. Um, one thing I'll make very clear at the end of the video if any of you are still watching. Um, a lot of a lot of you people keep on telling me like you know this place is not abandoned. Like, you know it's not abandoned. Probably because of my channel name, Abandoned Oz, and I guess I know this. Um, my channel name is channel name, not a description. Um, abandoned Oz. I explore abandoned places, yes. But I also explore uh, the history uh, of, of, of places, and I archive places. right -o. Now, to finish the video on this bus, because that's going to enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye.